Good morning, cookies. It is baking cookie week this week. So that is really exciting for me. Um, today is bag pickup. So tell the grown-ups that somebody needs to come and pick up your bags. I'm going to give you two bags. One, the red or green bag that has uh, the stuff in it for the end of the gingerbread things. And it has a couple games, a couple Christmas games in it. And then it also has the stuff for the Polar Express for next week. So you're going to want to have that. And then the other bag is actually for the things that we're going to do when we come back in January. But I wanted you guys to have everything in your hands. So when you come back from Christmas break, we're like ready to go, right? We're going to be all ready to go because we're already going to have all of our snow. We're going to do snow in January. It's going to be so fun. So we wanted you to have all of that stuff ready to roll at, right when you come back. So that's why you need to tell the grownups two bags to pick up this week. Um, tomorrow, today, I will be at school all day and I will be outside from 1130 to three o'clock in the bus parking lot so we can just do a drive by. So let me know. Um, who's coming to get your bags? Okay, here we go. Good morning, cute cookies. So this week we are going to practice again alliteration. We want to make sure that those have the same beginning sounds. That's alliteration, right? So cute cookies. Remember that C is one of those tricky letters and it has two sounds. So it sounds like K. It's a copycat, remember? It sounds like K, like K in cookie and then it also sounds like s, like an s in circle so the, so c has two sounds but in this um sentence cute cookies it is the same sound it sounds like the k i also ended that with an exclamation point remember punctuation goes at the end of the sentences and this is an exclamation point and that is very exciting because it means that you have a lot of enthusiasm and I think that cookie week is a really great week. Also in your magic bag is cookie mix where you only have to add a couple ingredients to try some cookie dough. So, so please tell the grownups, can you do that by yourself? No, you may not use the oven ever by yourself and you may not bake cookies by yourself, but tell the grown-up helpers or the older brothers and sisters. A lot of you have older brothers and sisters that help you with their schoolwork and they can make cookies, right? Okay, today is Monday. So I didn't put an exclamation point, although I am very excited to see you, but because Monday is a little rough for us sometimes, we gotta get in the groove, right? We have a lot of things to do this week. We wanna to try to cram in all that Christmas stuff. You do not wanna miss anything this week. You don't wanna miss morning meeting and you do not wanna miss the story times. Story times, oh, beautiful. So the stories on Seesaw this week are all about cookies. Yeah, so all of us are just gonna be dreaming of cookies all day and all night. And all of the stories that we are going to read, some of them are gingerbread stories. Today, it is the gingerbread man loose in school. He's always loose in that school. We're going to play a gingerbread game as well. And the story at the end of the week, the Grinch. You can't, you cannot possibly go to Christmas break without reading the Grinch, right? So make sure you're tuning in at 11 a.m., for the stories because we have some really good Christmas stories. So I put two different ones up per day so that you have a, have some choices and we want to make sure we're reading every day, right? All right, new rhyme. So here is the game, one of the rhyme games that we are going to play every day this week. So I don't know, some of you may have done it last year. I know a lot of the three-year-old teachers do this, but it's who sold the cookies from the cookie jar. So you're going to pat. Yeah, you might you might need to pound on the table. That's okay, right? This is great. This is it. That's what we like. We like a little rhythm. So it goes like this. Who stole the cookies from the cookie jar? Miss Anderson stole the cookies from the cookie jar. And she says, who me? We say, yes, you. And she says, could it be then who? Mrs. Peterson stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you. Couldn't be then who? Ed 
Evelyn stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? Dustin stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? Khalid stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? See, I'm going to do everybody who comes on live. So make sure that you come on live at 9 a.m. and we're going to play who stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Okay? And every single day, if you're one that's on, we are definitely going to use your name in our rhyme. So you want to make sure that you're on at 9 a.m. to see who's going to steal the cookies. <gasps> Speaking of cookies, how many cookies are in our jar today? Remember, because I am going to be on live at 9 o'clock, we're going to phantom count, but I want you to come on and tell me what the answer is. All right, let's try. are in the cookie jar. Hmm. You better figure it out. How many cookies are in that cookie jar? Here's one more look. <gasps> All right, when you come on live, you better have that answer. That was count the cookies. Bag pickup at 11.30 to 3 o'clock, bus parking lot. All you have to do is pull up. They just tell me who they're picking up for, and I will give them both bags. Let me tell you another thing that is in the bag. In the bag is popcorn and a ticket to the Polar Express. Next week, we are going to do the Polar Express on Wednesday. I want you to come in your pajamas. I want you, we're gonna listen to the story, the Polar Express together, and um, we're gonna take a little ride on the Polar Express. Okay, you have some popcorn in there. You need to relax, um, try to watch the movie if you can. I mean, obviously I'll, some of us have Netflix and things that have it on there and some of us don't and that's okay. Um, but try to watch the movie if you can. And But you'll learn everything you need to know from the book. There might be another secret thing in your bag. Also in your bag is a make an ornament. You can do any of those things in the Christmas bag in the next two weeks. So if you pull something out and you wanna do, you wanna play the game, there's a Christmas tree game in there. There's the dice game. Remember I showed you in a separate video, there's a dice game in there where you roll the dice and then you match how many. If this matches, I'm gonna put this up for you on Wednesday because this matches the, um, there's a seesaw game that's, that's kind of the same where it has like a computer dice, but you actually have dice in your magic bag. So look in those magic bags. Anything that you find in the Christmas bag, there's a um, gingerbread rhyming game in there. There's a, some more um, worksheets that you could do. Anything that you do, take pictures, take video, send it to me. Any extra work counts. So you want to make sure that you get credit for all that work, right? You're going to do all that work, which is always fun because it's always fun. It's fun in preschool. But whatever work that you do, you need to, I lost my clicker. <laughs> whatever work that you do, you need to send it to me, okay? Decorate your cookie kit. This is an important one. Inside your magic bag. The, another reason why you need to pick them up as soon as possible because inside the magic bag is a make your own cookie kit. Here's what is in it. A gingerbread person. There is a bag of icing. There is a little container that has sprinkles and things like that in it. And there's a cookie writer where you can write on it with edible um, icing. Please decorate your gingerbread kid and then take a picture. We want to see what everybody's gingerbread kid looks like. All you have to do is take a picture and upload it to your student work. Okay. So we want to see it. We want to see everybody's. I want to see how beautiful you decorate. Um, also in there is a cookie making um, bag of to make cookie dough. So please bake, bake, bake if you can. If it's impossible, it's okay. The gingerbread cookie is already made for you. It's a real cookie. So once you decorate it, please eat it. Yeah, because it'll be fun. All right, so pick up your bags. There is lots of fun stuff to do. 
don't peek in the snow bag yet because we want the snow bag for when you come back. All right. Have a wonderful day. I will see anybody who comes with the grown-ups to pick up their bags. And if not, I will see you at 9 a.m. and I will see you at 11 a.m. Bye. Have a great day.